Hey guys, this is William with another video for Play Agricola.com's YouTube channel. Um, thank you very much. Um, I'm playing a uh, AG2 J deck J4 tournament game with uh, Pain, We Three Kings, and Shoot. And uh, yeah, so we're um, we're playtesting expansions for. I think this is an expansion for the D deck. So this is one of our round two games. Um, so let's take a look at what we've got here. Building Tycoon. Um, whenever another player builds, you can give them one food and build a room yourself. No thanks. Uh, Lumberjack. One wood on each of their next round space of the number of fences you built. So like you fence four and then play Lumberjack like it's wood collector. It's a little slow though. Gardening head official, uh, get three, two, three, four wood. Players with the most vegetables in their fields get two bonus points. Four wood occupations are pretty good, but vegetables in fields are pretty tough to do in this format. Uh, each time you have to use the sow and or bake, you can buy one bonus point for one food. Place the food on the action space for the next person. Heresy teacher, each time you use an occupation action space, you get one vegetable in each of your fields with at least three grain and no vegetables. Oh, the, oh, right. This is the card where you add. Yeah. Okay. Uh, grocer. Well, here's a way to win um, Gardening Head Official is to take Grocer. So this Grocer, the read is deeper and there's only, f uh, is there still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? There's still eight goods, but the, the first vegetable is deeper and the read is deeper, which makes it a little worse, but it's still pretty good. Uh, at the end of each work phase, if you use both three wood and two wood, you get five food. That's a lot of food. Uh, cabbage buyer. Each time any player renovates and then builds no minor, one minor, one major, you can buy a vegetable. So buying vegetables seems good. Emissary. At any time, you can place a good on this card to get one stone. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely just taking grocer here. And we're keeping uh, Gardening Head Official in mind as we're drafting. Hmm. Reasoned it as a new conditional so card. Yeah, the, the problem is the let, the wording on Lettuce Patch and Turnip Field is totally different. So I, I understand that it's different, but uh, yeah, it's different. Anyways, I appreciate the apology, Lumen, because yeah, I think obviously I am correct. And I think it's, I think it's, I, well, whatever. We don't need to talk about it anymore. Um, okay, Large Scale Farmer. Each time after you use build room or stable. Okay, so I saw this last game. Uh, I did. I passed on this and then passed on recruiter and wanted to kill myself because <laughs> recruiter would have been great. Uh, tree farm jo joiner. One wood on each of the next two odd spaces. You get the wood and yeah, tree farm joiner seems really good. Getting minor improvement actions and wood. Each time another player uses starting player, both they and you get one food. Each time you use it, you get one food. Uh, so it's just a bunch of food. There's usually plenty of food in these games. Established person. If your house has two rooms, renovate it without paying any building resources. Afterward, get a fence. So that it works out okay with the get wood for each number of fences you've built card. Uh, hedge keeper is, we know hedge keeper. Godly Spouse, nah. Lumber Virtuoso, nah. Hide Farmer, nah. Um, tree Farm Joiner, I think, looks quite good. So. Yeah, taking Tree Farm Joiner here. Hedge Keeper is a bit different. Yeah, yeah. Um... Forest owner. This card is an action space for all. If another player uses it, they get three wood and must give you one wood from the general supply. Uh, if you use it, you get four wood. Um, so it's just forester, except there's no food involved. Oh, man. 
I don't really like that these cards exist. They just change the economy of the game so much. Uh, Paper Maker. Before each time you play an occupation, you can pay one wood to get one food for each occupation in front of you. So here's a way to get a bunch of food for my grocer is an option. Paper Maker. Pay wood for food. Twin Researcher. Use one of two accumulation spaces for the same type of... What? Uh, each time you use one of two accumulation spaces for the same type of good containing exactly the same number of goods. So the two clay, there has to be two clay on both two clay accumulation spaces, and then I can pay one food for a bonus point. That's how I'm reading this. Yes, and if there's two wood and two wood, I can go on two wood and, and pay a food for a bonus point. Um, hmm, how good is that? You'd have to have really free actions. Um, yeah, you'd have to have a lot of action flexibility. Read seller, no thanks, layabout, baby, cottager, uh, day labor, you can also build a room or renovate your house. Um, probably not. I kind of like the idea of taking Twin Researcher here. Yeah, maybe this. Maybe I just play this really early and uh, try to get a couple... You know, if I can make this worth a couple points, it seems good. How good are cards whose abilities whilst reading them? These don't have to reread at least twice. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, it's also like the, the wording is so weird. Like, yeah. It just... I get it. I get it now. I just had to read it a couple times. I think Paper Maker is not a bad option as well. I could definitely take Paper Maker here. Paper Maker is a reliable way to get food for my grocer. Twin Researcher kind of gives me a lot of food costs. Yeah, maybe I'll take Paper Maker here. And I think there's going to be a lot of wood injected into the game, so I'll take the Paper Maker. German Hearth Keeper. Um, each time any player uses the one boar accumulation space, you get one sheep from the general supply. Um, so it's like three or four sheep. Wealthy man. If you have a bunch of grain fields, you get points. Nope, not gotten there yet. Interior decorator, no thanks. Roof examiner. Um, getting read is not bad. I mean... Have one major, have the fireplace get two reeds. That's not awful. Breeding phase of each harvest, one food for each type. No. I think I'll just take roof examiner here. Yeah. German hearth keeper seems okay. I mean, I do want to build a fireplace or cooking hearth for to buy my grocery goods, most likely. Um. Roof examiner. You know what? Maybe roof examiner is a bit worse if I think I can feed with paper maker for a while. So that would be a point in favor of something like German hearth keeper. But you know what? Roof examiner seems fine. I'm just going to take it here. It get like that plus paper maker. Like, yeah, uh, it seems like I should be able to build a bunch of wood rooms. Okay, uh, Lumberjack. So Lumberjack works with the established farmer, but I think I'm going to want to build wood rooms. So I could set up a fencing early, but I think I'm just going to take Gardening Head Official here. Four wood occupation with Paper Maker seems pretty good. And also Roof Examiner. I should be able to play occupations, get food, and get uh, move towards building a room all at the same time. Emissary seems pretty good too for getting a stone house out of nowhere, but yeah, I think for take the four wood occupation. Four wood ox are good. Um, there's established person back, but yeah, I I already passed on the fencer card. I'm gonna take hide farmer here. I've had a whole bunch of games where I've ended with empty field, empty pastures in this format. I think hide farmer might be a much better card than than it is in uh, G four five, for example. So. 
All right. Hmm. How's the uh, bit rate's pretty constant, which is good. Good to see. And that drops some frames, but not too many. So that's good. So Twin Researcher came back. So yeah, definitely taking that. I was considering taking it before. So yeah, I'm glad Forest Armory is falling out of the draft. I don't like cards like that. Just screw up the economy of the game, the resource economy of the game. I think when there's too many resources, it becomes um, the person who grows first usually when there are too many resources usually ends up winning. Toad, uh, get a bunch of reed. No thanks. Grain Depot, one grain on each of the next blah spaces. No thanks. Stockyard, maybe. Shaving horse, at least one wood. If you have five or more, you can exchange a wood for three food. Seven or more wood, you must do so. Yeah, so turning wood into three food is pretty good. Uh, the only question is, do I have enough wood? I should read re uh, Reclamation Plow. Um, next time you take animals and accommodate all of them on my farm, I could plow a field. So it's one wood for a field. Which, you know what? I'm higher on this than I would have been before. Um, toolbox, no thanks. Moonshine. Randomly select an awk, play it for two food. Um, two food for an awk is kind of expensive. Basket chair, when you play this card, move the first person to this card. And if you do. So as I read basket chair, I need to play it. It's weird. So if I family grow thing, does the newborn come along with the adult or does the newborn stay behind? Because that's probably the most common case for this is I'm going to use it. I'm going to first action family growth, play basket chair, and then immediately place my second action like on a food or something. Let's look at what people have said. No one said anything. Um, newborn goes with the parent. So theoretically, I could use this if I double build, I could use this to double grow. If I could manage to do 10 wood, 5 reed. Brewing water. Each time you use a fishing accumulation space, pay one grain to place one food on the next six round spaces. And then we've got reclamation plow, which reclamation plow is fine. Uh, I'm going to try basket chair here. I think with roof examiner and... Um, Paper maker, well, not paper maker, but roof examiner, guarding head official. I should be able to set up a double build. Double, sorry, double build, double grow with basket chair. I could have taken the the plow seems quite good as well, but mm. harvest house. Place card of the number of completed harvests is equal to the number of occupations you played. You get one food, one grain, one vegetable. So pay these to get a food, a grain, and a vegetable. Uh, not with grocer, no thanks. Market stall, no thanks. Dutch mill. Each time you bake bread, it immediately after harvest get an additional three food. Uh, it's still too expensive. Two stone, two wood is really expensive. Uh, each time you use an occupation space before you pay the cost. Grain for four food. The taster. Uh, I don't really have a grain source, so no thanks. Pitchfork. Take one grain if plow is occupied. No thanks. Dutch clay pipe. No thanks. Mineral feeder. At the start of each round that does not end with a harvest, you have at least one sheep in a pasture, you get a grain. Um, wow, I wish I had taken the um, early reno strat. Because then this would be getting me one grain per round. Uh, beard keg. Feeding phase of, each, phase of each harvest. You can turn. Use this card to turn. One grain for no bonus point and three food. Or three grain for two points and three food. Three grains at two points and three food is 
I mean, green to points at one to one is not bad. But the th green to three food is not really that good. Um, I don't really have a source of grain yet. So beer keg, I think, will come in a little too late. So I think I'm going to take mineral feeder here. It's a read for a point in the worst case scenario. And if it gets to be one grain, then that's probably good enough. Okay. Hook knife. Less than blah sheep. Once you have the sheep, you get two bonus points. Nope. Corn schnapps distillery. Pay one grain to place food. No. Wage. Two food and one additional food for each major improvement you have from the bottom row of the supply board. Um, that might be okay for my double family growth round. Assuming I build a major improvement to play for roof examiner. Maybe play two. Maybe wage. Uh, stone company. Immediately after each time you use a stone accumulation space, you get a major... Oh, this looks great, except it's expensive. Two clay, one reed is really expensive. Hmm. Furrows, no. Brook. Each time you use one of the four spaces above fishing, you get an additional food. So, one of these four. Uh, I mean, the three wood action space is good, but using fishing and then using a minor improvement action is kind of difficult. Um... I kind of like the idea of Stone Company here. Beer Stein I played last game. It's not bad. Beer Stein seems fine. I'm going to try Stone Company here. During which... Oh, what am I saying? During which you must spend at least one stone. I th I read it as you must say, you may save a stone. Oh, this makes it quite a bit worse. Um, hmm... I mean, getting majors for, like, my roof examiner is okay. I think I'll just take Wage here. I'm not really that excited about any of these cards. Wage, any any miner that gets you immediate food can usually be pretty good if you build around it. Each time you use an uh, occupation action space and a cooking improvement on the same turn, you get one bonus point. So, basically, build a fireplace and eat a sheep on... When you uh, go on family growth, get a point. Hmm. It's kind of expensive, but not bad. I mean, I probably want to build a cooking hearth anyways with Grocer, right? It's, it's interesting. I'll think about it. Thick forest. One wood on each remaining even numbered round space. You have to have five clay in your supply. Five clay is not the easiest to do. But this is definitely a card I could play with um, Tree Farm Joiner. Like playing something like this with Tree Farm Joiner seems pretty good. Um, beer Tap, no thanks. One clay for each clay room and each major improvement you have. Uh, probably not. I think Thick Forest is probably the pick here. Although Cookery Lesson is interesting. Hmm, how many miners am I going to Or how many ox do I play at the end of the game? I can play Grocer. I can play uh, Hide Farmer. I can play Twin Researcher. So this would be like two food for three points maybe if I can make it work. Versus a free, you know, three or four wood. You know what? I'm going to be spending wood with my Paper Maker. I think I need Thick Forest here. I'm planning to, yeah, I'm planning to turn wood into food. So Thick Forest seems quite good. Reclamation Plow came back. Awesome. I'm not even going to think about the other cards. I absolutely want a card like Reclamation Plow. I want plows. Yep. And these... I'm probably not playing any of them. Um... Dutch clay pipe kind of combos with grocer. Like I can buy a bunch of resources, but meh. Same with roof examiner, I guess. I guess I have a couple occupations that maybe trigger Dutch clay pipe. Okay. They, or they support it at least. Like roof examiner could get me three reed and then I could take four wood or something. I'll take Beerstein here. Yeah. don't think I really want anything else. I guess furrows is... More playable than normal. 
Yeah, I'm really not likely to bake any grain. Yeah, furrows is probably more playable than normal, especially if I want to maybe build two rooms and also um, play a couple miners with uh, Tree Farm Joiner. Okay, uh, so we start first, which is good. Actually, I haven't even thought, do I want to be first with this hand? I haven't even thought about it. I should probably, well, I guess it's not much to think about. I am first. That's all there is to it. Um, I guess I could read stone food here. Yeah. I want to build majors. Reedstone food is good. I took the thing off. Yes. Okay. Um, Yeah, if they want to give me occupation back, that would be great. I underestimated one card in the draft. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to value. I'm not sure how to value these cards. I've I've literally I've played 8 games of What have I played? I've played like a dozen games of AG2 total. Like I just don't play it at all, so it's I'm not too worried about it. Also, we three kings is first action playing Toad here. Um, that's kind of crazy. So I'm getting occupation back here, which is kind of crazy. So I'll just play paper maker. Wow, sad chairman misses out on the first start player action. <laughs> that's that's pretty hilarious. It's before, so I have to take wood before I play my second occupation. Just got to remember that. Although one wood for one food is not really that good. So maybe I won't convert with my, um, I'll just play guarding ahead official normally and then I can play the other stuff later. So tree farm joiner. Do I want to, when do I want to play that? I'm not sure. Yeah, Shaving Horse seems really good. That pain just played. Let's see what We Three Kings is doing. I'm interested to see what this what's going on with this toad here. I'm guessing We Three Kings drafted some kind of om strategy or om's card maybe. And so then when presented with occupation or two wood was like, well, <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> we'll see. When I get a good chance, I got to throw my food back in the fridge. What's up, guys? Feel like if we start player there, we should have a plan in mind. All right.
Okay, um, well, if you really want me to play occupations, then I will play occupations. Uh, I could also take two read. Um, yeah, it seems like we three kings doesn't want to play ox, so I'll take two read here. Second action, two clay or expensive occupation. And I'll be right back. <sighs> Pain Lumber Virtuoso. <laughs> what a madman. What a madman. I guess he figures with Shaving Horse, he's going to keep his wood around like five or six anyways. Which is kind of crazy. Uh, large scale farmer for We Three Kings. I definitely thought it was going to be some kind of alms card, but nope. Weird. Weird. Uh, I guess I'm taking two wood so that I can go towards building a room. I want to play gardening head official and then tree farm joiner, I think. Open my window again because it's getting warm in here. Yeah, I guess with Shaving Horse, you figure um, you're going to, you can, you, with Shaving Horse, you can manipulate the number of wood you're going to have. So then you can hopefully not have to throw too many away to play, to use the Lumber Virtuoso. But we'll see. I mean, if he's spending two wood to get a build room action, like, eh, is that worth it? Mm, we'll see. Maybe there'll be a threat of activation factor that will be good. Whoa, this is a This is a round three layabout. Uh We Three Kings is doing some interesting stuff. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what the payoff is here. I assume there's some payoff. Um I'll play my guarding head official here. I'm ready to build a room in at the start of the next round. No conversion with paper. I'll start doing paper conversions after this one. So maybe second action, three food. Yeah, We Three Kings played layabout already, so I don't think We Three Kings has taken it. Maybe if shoot start players, I can be greedy and take the clay and hope to get four wood, four food next round. And if I don't get four food, I can read stone food and then play an occupation. Maybe that would be quite greedy though. We three Kings start player brewery pond. Should I use fishing or one read? You get a grain and a wood. Well, there were certainly a lot of payoffs for wood, for grain, so I 
Like, turning three grain into two bonus points and some food is... If you can get a crazy number of grain, that's a pretty great conversion. Especially if you just do it at the end of the game. Like, set up your game so you're at, like, 12, 13 grain. And then turn those excess grain into one point each. That's really strong. Uh, hopefully I get three food next round. Or hopefully I get four clay next round. So I want four clay for my um, thick forest. I mean, I really want five, but four clay, I could buy a clay with grocer. I don't really want to have to do a three clay and a two clay action to, and then play thick forest. Like, that doesn't seem that worthwhile. So two reed here, I'm guessing, and then I'm going to build the first room. Oh, cl paint took clay as well. All right, so I'm not getting clay until stage two. So thick forest will come out a little later. Go ahead and build the first room here. Although we might see Payne start player. But if Payne start players, he had to use a start player action. So I think it's still fine to build a room here. You read a wood and a grain. Yep. So Payne needs one more read. So Payne can't actually build this harvest, which is really good for me. So we three kings is kind of screwed Payne here because I feel like Lumber Virtuoso not getting to build in round four. That's not very good. I think probably for that card to be good, you need to be building round four. So I think we three kings' couple start player actions has really hurt pain in particular. I'll probably take four food if it comes back. I don't really want to start player. Could play an occupation. Play twin researcher, get it out there. Tree farm joiner, what would I play with it? Reclamation Plow, maybe Thick Forest Round 7. Yeah, Thick Forest Round 7 would be fine. The problem is I don't really want to play. I can play it in Round 6. I can play Tree Farm Joiner in Round 6. If I play Tree Farm Joiner Round 6, then, then I can play Thick Forest Round 7. Assuming I've gotten there, I, but that should be my goal, I think. Rope maker. And if each harvest, you get a reed. So, four food for me, it looks like. Yeah, I don't really want to start player if I don't have to. I could get five clay. Yeah, the three clay unfortunately kind of messed with my clay plans. Sometimes there's five clay available in round five. Well, I can take four clay and buy down with buy down the clay with Grocer. How deep do I have to go with this version of Grocer? Pretty deep. One, two, three, six. Yeah, that's really deep. Hmm.
What were you guys talking about, Bob Ross? Toad and Reed hatted Toad. I'm not following, but that's okay. We three kings start player brewing water. Hmm. Okay. Or is this on? This is on build a room. Oh, I see. So he's gonna go on fishing every round and get a huge amount of uh, food. Okay. Um, I don't think that's how that works. I think he's still like, oh, or never mind. Never mind. He can use major minor and then pay a food to build a room. I miss red. Peep ends on the second one used. Okay. It's not like unicycle where you like reach over, use it and stay there. Like Swagman. Honestly, I don't know these cards. <laughs> AG2 cards are pretty meaningless to me. All their names. I have to read all of them every time. I guess I know Toad because I was like, wow, that's a lot of read the first time I read it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start player here because why not? Um, well, because I want a family growth. Yeah, maybe I don't start player. I don't know. I'm going to have to start player to grow eventually. So, yeah, I should start player here. If I'm going to do it eventually, I should just do it now. Sure, play Reclamation Plow is fine. Second action. I mean, I can play Mineral Feeder. So I can play Mineral Feeder on Miner. I want to get the clay. That's what I really want. I really want to get the clay. I would like more wood as well. I can't play another occupation until I get more wood. Because I can't convert wood with my paper maker until I get more wood. The wage is also dead right now since I haven't built any of the guilds yet. I thought I'd build a guild of this maybe early, but I still could. Still could, def could definitely build the Basque Maker's Workshop still with a card like Roof Examiner. So cards played auto-populate. Uh, what do you mean? Like it automatically pops in the top right corner? That's, um, that's me. I'm doing that on my OBS. My OBS is, uh, Maruska set up this awesome functionality where it'll automatically grab... OBS is grabbing the most recently played card from my game and then putting it up there. That's what's that's what's happening. And OBS is my streaming the streaming plot the streaming tool. So I could take three wood here. Then I'd be able to play an occupation. It will also be, yes. Well, I mean, it'll also be on, like, just the Twitch broadcast, right? Um, for Clay, I guess. Then if I have to, I can play Dutch Clay Pipe.
I could have been greedy and tried to get six clay next round, but if I do that, I'm passing on building, obviously. Which might not be very good. Oh, it's Reno. That's not good. All right, uh, mineral feeder. I guess I could maybe play Dutch clay pipe, but Dutch clay pipe is not gonna pay off for several. Like it's not gonna pay off before this next harvest, so I can maybe play Dutch clay pipe on family family growth next round. Actually, no, I'm gonna play thick forest on family growth next round. Oh yeah, F for me too. Keep forgetting about chairman. Should should just mark mark chairman. Well, round seven family growth. Pain's feeding is pretty trivial with uh, with this uh, shaving horse. Wonder if he's gonna manage to build another room in this coming round. Pain is also the guy to try the family growth avoiders. So I wonder if he drafted one of those. He loves taking the cards that let you family growth uh, without using the family growth space. Trying those guys out. Taking three clay here so that on family growth next round I can play thick forest. And then thick forest gets me four wood. This game's a little slow. I'm gonna put some music on. Let me know how the levels are guys. I need to turn it down a bit more. Are we all in the second round? Oh. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the tournament. It's gonna be my action soon. Here we go. So thick forest. 
Let's read Stone Company quick. Oh, this is the one that lets you build the stone improvements. Yeah. Cool. Uh, stage two. Is we three kings in? So he's subbing for us. That's cool. Gonna be hard to get games without substitutes, that's for sure. Pain plays Harvest House. Completed Harvest, so he's played one Auk, one completed Harvest, so he's turning a wood clay and a reed into a food, a grain, and a vegetable. Sure. Whoops. Want to read? V3 Kings plays Beer Keg. Feeding phase of each harvest. Turn grain into points. Yep. Yeah, this card seems quite good. You need a lot of grain, but... I don't know if We Three Kings has enough grain. That's maybe a problem. So Shoot's building the well here. I assume this is just regular well. Oh, of course, with his uh, stone company. Right. So... Taking three wood, I guess. Yeah, three wood, feed five. So I've got my mineral feeder in play. If I could get it online for the start of round 10, that would be quite nice. Then it would at least be worth two grain and a re like a read for two grain and a point. That's quite a good conversion. So that might mean giving up on building a second room for now, but I can always go back and maybe build another room later. Although I guess one extra grain is not worth so much when Grocer gives me a grain. Still have my twin researcher to play too. Got stuff to do. Barry. Haven't seen Barry around in ages. Twenty games in a single weekend. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Twenty games in a single weekend. Twenty games in three days. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so many. <laughs> That's hilarious. So Payne played two stone to get four grain. Mm, that seems like kind of overkill when he already got grain. I wonder what pay grain payoffs pain has. I assume there's something there. Okay. 
So four wood would be pretty good. Yeah, I'd like four wood. I want to start playing occupations. Uh, Reedstone food and maybe Reno pottery. Could also take three wood here. Could start plowing. Seems like it's never too early to be plowing in this game. Maybe I take three wood, fence, and then take the sheep, and then my mineral mineral feeder comes online, and I get a field. I mean, I did play Gardening Head Official, so getting vegetables sown seems worthwhile. But it feels like building majors is worth quite... Building a major is going to be worth a lot with Roof Examiner. Yeah... So what miners would I play with Tree Farm Joiner? Basket Chair is dead. Wage, I could play Furrows. So I could play Furrows round 11 to sow one grain or one vegetable into the f random field I get from Reclamation Plow. Yeah, I could play Tree Farm Joiner. Yeah, play wage, wage and furrows, and then basket chair. I don't know if I save basket chair for start player or what, but. E3 Kings plays occupation in German Heath, Heath Keeper. I wonder what Heath is. I should look that up. So I could read stone food and then reno pottery here. Or I could fence and grab the sheep and then maybe reno cooking hearth. Yeah, fencing could get the sheep getting the sheep seems okay. Although I can't eat the sheep yet. Mm. It's good for my mineral water though. Or mineral feeder. Wondering if I need food more immediately than that. Yeah, you know what? If I'm gonna fence, it would be nice to fence more than just six. Yeah. Whoops. I'll run out pottery here. Whoops. Then I play an occupation, get two food, and then eat a clay. You know what? I'm still one food short because I still have to pay a food for the occupation that I play. Hmm. There's five food traveling players available. I guess that's reasonably good for me. Hook knife. So Payne has a plan to get to six sheep. Maybe has a, um, there is that miner that lets you hold animals. So might be playing that.
This chairman's given a lot of food out, both to shoot and to other players. Also, we three kings didn't actually get an extra person, which is sort of weird. Um, well, shoot is the only person who wants the animals right now. I'm wondering if I should fence and go for the sheep here. The three sheep obviously is way better than than before. Three wood fences. Yeah, no, I don't. I can't. I don't have time to do that. I need to take more food still. I guess I'm just taking traveling players here. Yeah, take solid food options when they're available. Then I, now I can fen now I can fence and take uh, the sheep if I want to, which actually seems like a pretty good option. Yeah, especially if Payne's playing an Auk here. Yeah, I don't want to play on the expensive Auk space. So I needed some kind of Auk helper, it seems like, because I'm maybe not going to play all the rest of these. Although once my paper maker is giving me like four or five food, then it's a lot, a lot better. I guess for my last, it gives me six food, right? For my seventh occupation, one wood for six food, which is quite good. Yeah, fence six and then taking the sheep if that's available to me, depending on what shoot does. Pain's going to grow again. At the end of stage three, I've only two of seven ox played. <laughs> well, I mean, I got first family growth in around seven family growth games, so that's what that's what I feel like. <laughs> that's how I feel. I feel very round seven family growthy. We three kings built another room. Well, I'm glad I'm not competing for the all the family growth actions. I'm getting out of that queue. Uh, shoot builds the basket maker's workshop. Okay, so that hurts my roof examiner. But, I mean, I can always use it to get the reed for my one more reno. No, probably not. That's fence six. And not seven because I want to keep wood. No, I'll fence seven, actually. Fence seven, then I can hold two breeding pairs, even if I can't actually breed both of them. Four food clay feed six. And my sheep breed. And then I get plus grain mineral feeder. Pain builds a room, unsurprisingly. All right, so I like wood. I really like wood. I need wood so badly.
57 point cowboy and mother with family goats flipped in round five. Jeez. Okay, um, shoots playing stockyard. I don't think it really matters what happened. I'm pretty sure I'm taking wood here. The card can hold three animals, so that's shoot that has that. And pain played pig stalker. Animal accumulation space, if you occupy the action. Okay, so whenever you take sheep, if you occupy so, you also get a boar. If you take boar and you occupy vegetable, you also get an extra boar. Sure. So starting to plow more and then also playing occupations is what I would like to do. So play tree farm joiner, which will let me play uh, furrows and rate and wage it looks like. Shoots got kind of screwed by the family growth queue. But they got the well out. Yeah, so I guess that was the big swing. They swung for the well with their um, stone company. company. So I guess you just don't get the, if you can't play a stone improvement, you just can't play an improvement. That's the idea, I guess. Uh, so let's play an Ock here. Tree farm joiner. Costs one food, but then I spend a wood and get food food. Pain plays tasting on family growth. Is that right? So whenever he plays an Ock, he's gonna get grain now. Or he can bake, basically it's a baking. It's almost a baking action. Not quite, but a grain to four food is reasonable when you play an Ock. And that's a good use for all the grain that he put out. So that's nice. These guys all seem like kind of wood light though. I wonder what their plan is. Uh, I think I'm gonna take a vegetable here because then I'm gonna play, no, why am I taking a vegetable? I can buy vegetables with grocer. Um, maybe I play occupation again and then I can play furrows here. Furrows round 11. Could play grocer now and then for yeah furrows lets me sew okay so it costs two 
I spend a wood so I get net plus one. Net plus food, and then I have to look at the grocer. V R C V S R G wood. Uh, start of round, play imp. Oh, you know what? I never got, uh, I never took plus wood for tree farm joiner. I'm going to take it now. I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to play an improvement and I'm going to play furrows. And get another wood pass it to pain and I'm gonna buy buy five so that I can sow a vegetable So I think I'm taking clay. I would like to build a clay oven. And then wage in round 13 would be a nice amount of food. Shoots playing lasso. That game with Blackjack Davy was endless. Yeah. <laughs> How long was it? More than two hours? So I think I'm taking three wood here. Although plowing is also a very good option. Also taking clay. I do need to feed. So taking clay gives me access to, yeah, I should play it safe. I need to probably build a cooking hearth or a clay oven here. So I'll take the six clay. Payne is playing start player furrows. I can imagine it's difficult uh, reading in English, I would think. Oh, it should not be my turn. It should be Shoot's turn. Bake a grain here. I can take three wood. I could play another occupation. Yeah, occupation roof examiner would be not something that I want to do because I have no more need for read. Um, 
Could play tw Twin Researcher, and then maybe I proc it a couple times at the end of the game here. Oh, Payne's playing Hedge Keeper. Sure. I could buy two resources and build a clay room. But then I'm not eating clay. And I do want to eat clay. I could take five clay and then build and then buy the grocer goods later. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Build another room. I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do with that read otherwise. Might be difficult to get to a stone house, but that's okay. I guess I could build a cooking hearth, but I don't know, I kind of like the idea of baking and then feeding with wage. I'm definitely going to want to use the sow bake space. Well, I'm going to want to plow sow as much as I can, I guess. Um, yeah. I think I'm taking three wood here if it comes to me, though. Three wood is quite good. My eighth wood is very useful. Let's me fence really nicely. So four food and a clay, harvest a veg, breed my sheep, plus grain, mineral feeder, whoops, Play stable hand. Interesting. I guess with uh, hedge keeper, you know, you're gonna fence a couple times. Doesn't seem like there are that many more fence actions available, but I guess Payne probably fences with his next move. Yeah. Okay, um, what am I doing here? Six clay is nice for building a, another room. Thing is, We Three Kings is also able to build, so it makes it a little less appealing for me to do that. Could buy a clay and build a cooking hearth, or even building a fireplace since I'm mostly going to eat sheep. Don't really need a cooking hearth. Um... Plow sow would be nice, but plowing is also just really important in general. So I think I'm just going to plow here.
That's a nice post. Very, very positive. Okay, um... I think I'm fencing with this move. Because then I can t accommodate two boar and two ca uh, two boar or two cattle. I would like both of those things. Seems like Twin Researcher never made it out, but that's okay. So then I'm gonna play Wage, and Wage is gonna get me four food, passing miner, four food and a wood, and then I can convert some more wood with um, when I play occupations. Professional deformation, writing faster than thinking. I hope that's not what I do. So since I got a plow off and my fencing off, I'm kind of feeling like I can start player now. It's kind of amazing that Payne is still the start player. I, of course, would like to start player, but I also want to start player round 13. I kind of want to... Yeah, I want to play basket chair, right? I want a basket chair second action round 13. I don't think I took it. Yeah, it says shoot removed one food on board. was round seven it's last well food here makes sense Start player nothing, get a food. Yeah, I wanna I wanna I want a family growth, but I need plow so more.
Yeah, I think I'm so baking here. Or plow sewing here, sorry. Oh, uh... Need to play my imp. It's wage. And Payne has wage in hand now. Start player for O's here for We Three Kings. Well, that means Basket Chair probably doesn't come out. I could have just played Basket Chair last round, read for a point. I kind of thought I was getting start player back here. Yeah, I basically just pa totally passed up on an opportunity to pay a read for a point. Which, uh, kind of no reason why I should have done that. Three reader, two cat, or three boar, or two cattle. It doesn't really matter. I can't eat them either way. So I think I'm taking the boar. I ended up with too much wood. Kind of funny. I could build stables. Anyone notice any non-showing cards? I mean, obviously I haven't been clicking on them. <laughs> so I couldn't tell you. Uh, not too much to do here. So I think I'm playing Occupation Hide Farmer. Pay a wood for for food. Wood to for food. And then feed six and eat a clay. So feed four. C to feed six. Oh man, I really need to give pain wage. I'm gonna add a guest just so I can give pain wage. I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> Making changes in the background. Thank you very much. All your improvements are much appreciated. Oh, I should also harvest. Buying a clay for a point seems reasonable. I'm probably going to end up first action sewing. I think that's what's going to happen. I'm going to first action sew bake. 
The problem with baking a grain is that it is eating points for me. Done my harvest stuff. Yeah, I needed uh, I needed uh, to get plow so here around fourteen. It looks like I'm probably giving away the uh, points for gardening head official. Well, actually, shoot only has one vegetable. We three kings has zero vegetables. I guess if I get a so bake action, then I win the points. No elegance. No one's got any beautiful farms. I have my farm's kind of beautiful. I think my farm looks fine. <laughs> That's fun. How many points do I have? Running tread, drafting, but not playing endgame food for point cards, glutton, garden designer, and now hide farmer. Well, I played hide farmer, so it's kind of, <laughs> we're here. How many points do I have? Uh, uh, okay, well, we can do the math. Uh, 12... Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty-two, minus one for cattle, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-six, buy an extra vegetable, twenty-seven, uh, three points, thirty, two points, thirty-two, yeah, so I'm at like thirty-two right now. Which is not great. I need to win uh, Tree Farm Joiner. JP's post or something else. Yeah, very entertaining. I enjoyed that. Yeah, hopefully no one else is doing particularly well. I think that's what we're banking on here. Whoa, we three kings first action, Reno Fence. Okay, uh, well, if I get Plow So, then that helps me a lot. I think Shoot. Oh, Shoot has the f fence here. Yeah? Oh, man, these guys all screwed each other over on fences. This is kind of a weird game. Yep. Wow. I get I get I get plow so here. I did not think I was getting plow so. Well, I'm gonna buy three goods, and then plow so. Jeez, jeez, Louise. And actually, I might make plow so available to the other players too. I could do that. So a vegetable here because I want to get three sown vegetables for village. Uh, gardening head official. 
and then so uh, grain. Possible this game will be won by the person who makes 40? Yeah, probably. You're probably right about that. I guess Furrows is out there. So Shoot can play Furrows to tie me for Gardening Head Official. Because Gardening Head Official is actually during scoring that it comes into play, right? Yep. Yeah, so Shoot can play Furrows. Or, uh, yeah, Furrows for like four... Well, three points, I guess. Three points, yeah. I need food, obviously. Um, I figured I'd just play an occupation, most likely. And then I turn a wood into five food. So it's net plus four food. It seems like it's enough, right? Oh, hide farmer. I need more than four food. Well, I could eat a raw vegetable. Because I overkilled on vegetables. So. Yeah, actually, plow sowing last round was not good. I forgot that Gardening Head Official was grain vegetables during scoring. Not, uh, not something else. Um, yeah, I need food. This is five food. Sure, we'll take five food. And hopefully I get last action cattle. So yeah, six food to feed, eat a vegetable for six food plus my two hide farmer feet food. So then my last move. Um, oh, I didn't even bother taking the wood here. <laughs> yeah, I had way too much wood, which is funny. I ended up with too much wood. I got two more occupations to play. Yeah, I think uh, Family Growth Round 7 was pretty bad for me, but it seems like it was bad for the other players too, so... Maybe we came out okay. Like, we three kings won't get to stone with his house. I don't know. Hard to evaluate these farms. Like, my farm looks nice, but doesn't have uh doesn't have a whole lot of points on it Uh, oh, four point card here. That might be a winner. That might be a winner. Six food. F, V, two, feed six, and hide two. Uh, sheep don't breed, but the boar do. And two point hide farmer. And this is my final. S oh, and then I should have two point gardening head official, I believe. Yeah, one ve vegetable in the field for gardening head official. So, uh, looks like I score 41. Well, I cracked 40 as Maruska. Is that going to be enough to win? I don't know. I have no idea what these other guys are scoring. No idea. 
Let's get an idea. Um, yeah, I don't think we three kings is doing too well. Pain has some bonuses, I assume, because it's pain, and pain always has bonuses. First pick chimney sweep, but no one made it to stone. <laughs> This game was gross. This game was really gross. Feels very round seven family growth. That's how I feel. I feel very round seven family growth. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to do another game. There is one of two, I think. Forty-one for AG two is like a millionaire eating every day. Ask you if someone took four last round. So 37 for pain. Yeah, it looks like I win because I don't see think we three kings made it to 40. Well, there's win one out of two. Okay, I'm going to end the video here, and uh, I assume shoot was in fourth, I'm guessing. Um, I'm going to do another video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Uh, I'm going to do another one for the guys on Twitch, so hang around. Uh, I'm going to help shoot uh, calculate this final score here, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.